Hello and welcome to the tutorial for setting up a new user account with our online account access at Heritage South Community Credit Union. This tutorial is for anyone who has never set up an account with us online before. As we are going through this tutorial, please note that all the information we are putting in is for the primary account holder and needs to match what we have on file for that person. So this is not the time to change your address or change your email address. If you click on the link on our, on our website to get to the online account access, it will bring you to this page. And if we're setting up a new user account, we're going to come up here to this link for not a user. And we'll click it to go in. First page you'll see is an online account access agreement. We encourage you to read through this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. But after reading through it, if you are agreeing to the terms and conditions, then please hit the I agree button. We will come in here and put in our account information, starting with the social security number without dashes. We will then put in the account number. And the email address that we have on file for the account. After we've put in the email address, it'll bring us to this page where we put in uh, the information for the primary account holder. Skipping ahead a little bit, we'll get down to the bottom. We're going to type in the birthday without any dashes. Once we have all the information in and correct, we will hit submit. Once we get to this page, we will be able to hit our send email verification here and it'll send us an email to the one that we entered on file earlier and you should receive it immediately or it may take a few moments to get to you if you do not see it please check your junk or spam folder sometimes they can end up in there and you have one hour to click on the link in there so that we can continue the process alright once you have opened up the email clicked on the link you'll be brought to this page where we are able to select our username the username needs to be four to twelve characters must start with a letter and does not contain any special characters. Our next page will give us a temporary password here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. You can also write it down as a good idea. Because on our next page, you will need to enter that temporary password as well as select a new password. The password needs to be 4 to 10 characters with no special characters and is case sensitive. On the next page, we're going to select a security image. These will pop up whenever you log in to let you know that you are logging into our site. And there are various pictures you can go through and pick whichever one you prefer. The next page we get to here is telling us how we're going to set up three security questions on the next page, this one here. In this page, we'll select a different security question. These will pop up if you log into this account for the first time from a new computer or if there's some other kind of problem where we need to verify your identity. You just go through and select the different questions. And then we'll hit submit, at which point it will pop up and verify the information you just put in. If it's correct, we'll hit confirm. This next page will pull up a callback number. What this is, is if there is a, another problem with the account or if there's a large transaction we need to verify, you can receive an automated callback to your phone number that you list here. You can do a work number, a home number, or a mobile number. We'll then hit submit, and you can confirm the number you just entered. On the next page we get to here, we are going to have a password reset question. The way this works is if you forget your password, you can use your email address on file and this password reset question to reset the password without having to contact us. Now you can type in any question that you want, anything you know the answer to, it does not matter.
then hit submit then it'll bring it up to your home page this is the dashboard of our account access online and it'll show you the various loans and accounts and all that information that you have here you can hit the accounts tab up here to get a more detailed view of everything that you have on your account as well as go to the transfer tab here to select transfers between your various accounts dashboard clicking right here on dashboard will bring you back to your home page if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at 931-680-1400, or you can shoot us an email by going to our website and clicking on the email tab and selecting the technology department to send it to.